Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about a kind of a, a, a known item that a lot of agents will reach out about where they're trying to add a contact over to their contact section, but it's coming up specifying that this email is already in use. All right, so if that actually comes up, more than likely you may actually have it inside your archive section. So before we actually get to the archive section, let's take a look at what exactly it is I'm talking about on here. All right, so once we go to the contact section on here, we can view all of our contacts, but I'm currently just viewing a filtered version of it. If I actually come on here and I try to add a contact, so I'm going to add inside a brand new contact. I'll put inside the email. Now, once I do that, if I click the create button on here, well, notice here's the message. This email is, or sorry, the email is currently in use. Please use a different email. Now, if that comes up, the first thing that we'll want to do is click on our name at the top right. All right, and then go to the settings section on here, because usually whenever that comes up, that means that your contact is actually in the archives, and you can either just unarchive them, or you can delete it all together to re-add them too. All right, so once I click on the settings option on here, all right, now it's going to take me right to the back end of our command settings, and I can select on here command settings actually. <laughs> and once I do that, I can select the contacts option, and select contact archive. All right, so I'm gonna click on this real quick because it'll highlight it. And if you notice, here's the archive contact. So a couple different options, because sometimes you might have multiple archives. Now, if you happen to have multiple archive contacts on here, you can obviously then go through and search by their email to see if it pops up. And as we can see, it popped up right away. All right, and then we can actually go through and click the restore option if we want to, or we can delete this altogether as well. All right, so I'm gonna click on the restore option and now when I come back over to the contacts, this contact should be back inside our database. All right, so if you ever run into that issue where it says this contact's email is already in use, all right, you're not seeing it inside your contacts section when you're searching for them, all right, make sure to check those archives because it might be sitting back there for you to restore right away. So there you go. So that is your K2B command tip for the day.